Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Um, this is just going to be a very quick video, but essentially these are all of my liners. Uh, well, most of my liners. I've left a couple of out that are um, probably either not high in rotation to be worn or are relatively new and therefore aren't as uh, used and soiled, basically. Um, my pads that I use for my menstrual cycle basically get a oxy bleach at the end of the cycle. So, and I do try and kind of rotate through um, my menstrual pads and all that type of stuff. So when I do use them, they tend to get a um, oxygen bleach. My uh, period underwear, which they recommend you not soak, um, but you rinse them out as you know when you take them off for as soon as possible like when you get home um, so they tend to get rinsed out so they're not you know retaining blood in them for a particularly long amount of time like over 24 hours they generally tend to either be washed out straight away or washed out you know when I get access to my bathroom at home so but these uh you know daily liners that I use I do have a phenomenally high discharge um, so this basically has just led me um, before I got into cloth pads I would buy a packet of liners of single-use disposable liners um, of the sports kind which were basically probably maybe between four and five inches so they were quite small and I have a preference for 8 inch liners which are what most of these are but also I'd have to wear at least one if not two a day just to get just to deal with my discharge so I just have a phenomenal amount of discharge so when I switched over to cloth pads this made it very much easier because I pretty well much have a very constant and consistent supply some of these are also uh, for better use of a word rated moderate or um, basically kind of up to moderate pads this one's a moderate pad um, some of the others so some of these are liners lights and moderate which means even if I get my period while wearing one of these I'm kind of unlikely to bleed through them but generally I know when my cycle is coming so I can either wear heavier um, liners which is like this one I'd wear this one the closer I get to my period so because I know that I'm not going to bleed through it but like this one is another one that's kind of uh, probably rated a moderate so I don't necessarily um, so I wear a liner every day up to two or three liners a day the, obviously the bonus with these are that you can just change them out as much as you want but the flip side of this is they just generally tend to get thrown into my wash and washed as per normal so they don't tend to get stain treated they don't tend to get anything else with them they just tend to get kind of worn and washed worn and washed worn and washed and you know some of them like ah, oh, this one's probably not this one did have a bit of a stain build up here um, some of them do actually have not so much this one some of the ones at the bottom are probably worse but there's discoloration on them just because I have um, some of them are discolored because of my discharge oh here's one that's discolored because of my discharge um, which you probably can't tell because it's wet but so this one here had discoloration here but I do tend to find this is a Hannah pad one and this is the organic cotton and I do tend to find they stain exceptionally easy this one here along here is bleached because of having just my uh, is acidic like the discharge is acidic um, same as these ones but blue tends to stain more it's just a color wheel thing it's a uh, you know annoying and irritating but such is life um this one here again because of the color tends to get a little bit stained um and 
but of course because they're my liners I don't tend to stain treat them so um, probably oh, that one's probably really really bad um, so as you can see with this one the staining in it can actually get quite bad with the discharge and this is probably because it's also a blue one blue one does tend to stain quite badly this is another like moderate one and that I can wear um, if my cycle is up coming um, this one here is not I use I was wearing this when I got my period and bled through everywhere it was seriously the but I love it because of the print so I basically kept this one um, because of the print however and this is why I do this every now and then I essentially get a um, vanish bleach which is here you guys should all know from my cleaning videos how I wash my cloth pads I think I did one in 2018 and I'm pretty sure I did one last year um, so my washing uh, routine hasn't really changed that much since and I don't think it changed a ton in between um, those two videos either but if you want me to do an updated um, cleaning video I can just drop a comment down below however this is what I do every now and then maybe once every year to 18 months is essentially dump all of these um, liners into oxy bleach and just give them a good soak out so I will replace the water in about 12 hours 20 to 12 to 24 hours let it soak another you know day essentially basically change this every 12 hours um, so I'll put this on we'll wait 12 hours we'll change the water let them soak another 12 hours and then I'll th shove them through a wash cycle which basically should then it might not lift all of the stains in them but it's just to kind of give them all a little bit of a refresh as well give all the internal uh, line you know all the internal batting and cotton and flannel and bamboo a bit of a refresh as well um, and give them all a bit of a oxyclean and then you know they're ready to go for another year so thank you for watching enjoy your morning afternoon or evening depending of course where you are in the day and i will see you all in the next video Bye everyone.